Hi everybody. This right here, this lovely look with this silly ponytail is the look after teaching three fitness classes. Let me put this ponytail back in. Um, that was my, that's my point for today. Today is day two of dealing with the menopause belly and all that fun stuff. I, as you know, I'm a fitness instructor and I am constantly working out. I teach um, three classes Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning. I'm very active. I do yoga every day. As I mentioned yesterday, yoga is by far um, the best thing you can do for your core. And uh, uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about today is, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday or not, but make sure you're drinking your water. That's going to help you also flush out your system. Sweating is not a detoxin. Sweating is your body's way of cooling itself. It's very important, you know, of course, that we sweat. Now, the other thing is, though, um, we do need to make sure that we're drinking the water that we our bodies need and that we're feeding our bodies proper fuel. So, of course, stay away from the processed foods. That's also going to contribute to that belly and, you know, being poofy and the bloated look. So for today, what I want to remind you is crunches, um, killing yourself, trying to um, exercise and focus only on the belly isn't going to be the, the way to get you to tightening up that midsection. You cannot spot reduce one part of your body and that includes your belly. So you need to focus on a good overall exercise program the best by far exercise you can do for your midsection is for your, you know, don't forget your midsection, your core is the front and the back, okay? So you need to also have strong back muscles to support the strong abs. And the best, best, best exercise, and it's in yoga, it's in Pilates, it's in so many of the top fitness programs is a plank. So if you want to start with exercising somewhere, definitely start with a plank. I've done a video before on three different versions of a plank, but you'll basically start with, if you're just beginning in tabletop position, make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips, you'll look like a box. Uh, <laughs> this way. <laughs> I was kind of confused which way I was going. Sorry about that. So you'll look like a box. Very important to engage that core. When you're told to engage your core, it means to tighten it and lift it up, almost as if you're putting that belly button on your spine. Make sure your back is flat. After you're able to hold that tabletop plank, you're gonna to want to progress to the next level, which is to move onto your thighs. Hold the plank starting when you're just beginning, hold them for 20 to 30 seconds, and your goal is to progress so that you're holding those planks 45 seconds to a minute, sometimes longer. When you are able to move to the next level, you're going to be on your forearms and your toes. Make sure your back is level. You don't want your butt in the air like this because that's not doing you any good and it's putting extra stress on your shoulders. So the third, you're gonna start tabletop, then you're gonna to move to your thighs, then you're gonna to move to the third position which will be on your forearms and on your toes. A lot of people do it all the way up on their hands. I personally find it's more difficult on your forearms, but you know, if you're more comfortable on your hands, it will put additional stress not only on your shoulders, but on your wrist. So um, you can be on your hands, make sure that again, those hands are directly underneath those shoulders and on your toes or on your forearms and on your toes. Hold that plank starting 30 seconds, try three 30 second planks and build up from there. This is day two, day three will be tomorrow. I'm gonna to be incorporating more Pilates type moves for you, Pilates and yoga. But I'm telling you, the best thing you can do is yoga, yoga, yoga. Yoga is a total overall body strength trainer. And I do yoga every day if I'm not teaching. I do um, yoga, a program that I follow. It's super easy to follow, I'll put the link below. But just get up. Get moving. Remember, you cannot spot reduce just your belly, so you need to drink your water, you need to eat clean, and you need to completely exercise. I'll be back tomorrow with day three 
on the menopausal belly series um, after the hysterectomy. If you need me, Denise Sanger at gmail.com, reach out or head to my website, howtostayfitover50.com. Chat with you all tomorrow. Bye.